And we back like we left something. Sensei Reality TV, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Um, Man. Lil Wayne. Punching his assistant. He says that it was in self-defense. Now, Lil Wayne, as we all know, you know, he's been kind of like, you know, doing his thing, staying out the way. Until this moment right here. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, to this moment right here, we get an ex-assistant saying that Wayne assaulted him. Now, Lil Wayne has claimed that this is self-defense in this ongoing lawsuit. The guy by the name of Andrew Williams saying that Lil Wayne allegedly punched him in the jaw. Now, this guy that's filing this lawsuit against Wayne, saying that allegedly that he did all this, saying that this man did this to him all because of some argument. Wayne had started some argument with a pilot and the former assistant that Wayne fired stepped in to try to defuse the conflict. And Wayne didn't like the fact that this dude tried to, you know, come in between and try to defuse it. Like, you know, like, dude, get back. Like, what are you doing? He ain't appreciated and turned to him and allegedly punched the dude in his jaw. Now, I'm going to be right here to tell you that Wayne did this because I feel I don't I don't I don't feel like that this dude tried to defuse the situation between Wayne and his pilot. I feel like that this guy got mad that Wayne didn't need no no longer needed his services anymore. I felt like that this dude got mad and tried to, you know, resort to some physical towards Wayne because he got mad that Wayne didn't want him as his assistant anymore. Because he felt, Wayne felt like this dude should have minded his business. And he probably been wanting to fire this dude. So it just, it didn't take nothing that much for him to want to let him go before you try to get involved with something that they didn't, they don't even concern you. Like I've been wanting to fire you dude, so you fired. Fired the ex-assistant, that's now his ex-assistant. And I feel that this dude got mad because he got fired. So he tried to, you know, probably get in Wayne's face. And Wayne didn't take that too kindly. So by getting in his face and looking like he was finna do something to Wayne, out of self-defense, Wayne punched that, that motherfucker in his jaw. Now, they tried to say the combination of a closed fist and the numerous rings and large jewelry cause great harm to the dude like get out of here man like this is all just so it's just, it's just so just stupid man it's just pure comedy his ex assistant looking for a payday because he ain't got nowhere else that he ain't got nothing else that he got going on for himself so he ain't got no more income coming in so he trying to get some money now this Williams guy allegedly um, sought medical attention at a local urgent care or whatever. 
and that the only follow-up he received from Wayne was reportedly a letter demanding he return a missing Bluetooth speaker of a company backpack. Now, as I once said already, that Wayne claimed that this was all self-defense. And he asked the judge to throw out the entire suit, noting that Williams never received any injuries and that he rightfully fired him for not exercising reasonable care and diligence. See what I'm saying? Now, this Williams guy tried to say that he claims that he suffered from emotional and physical, physically, that he, that he suffered emotionally and physically as a result of the uh, alleged punch that Wayne gave him that connected to his jawline, Mike Tyson, him, and said that he incurred general damages, including incurring medical expenses, and that he also cited humiliation and mental anguish that he experienced in the hands of the rapper. Now, Wayne was willful and malicious and was intended to oppress and cause injury to Williams, so on, allegedly, is therefore entitled to an award of punitive damages, adding that Williams was also wrongfully terminated. This dude was mad because he got fired. So he looked as if he was trying to go, on, like he was going to put hands on Wayne, and what Wayne beat him to the punch, and he, and he knocked his ass out first. So now he want to sue. So this is all just so stupid and just a money grab from the system because the system ain't got nothing else going on for him. He ain't got nothing else going on. He ain't got no other sort of income that he got coming in to the point to where he ain't got to sue. He got to sue. Cause this is his, this was his only sort of income. Now I don't think this dude's gonna get a dime. And if he do, it ain't gonna be that much. Unless he got some sort of type of pictures or proof or bruises or anything. And clearly of any type of evidence to show that Wayne did that to him, he's not going to get nothing. It will not withhold in court. And see, this is what I'm talking about with people that don't know how to take being fired. They don't know how to, they don't, they don't know how to receive that. And knowing that this was their only sort of income, so it frustrates them to know that they have nothing else in the lineup right now. That this was it. He got in that, he got in Wayne's face. Wayne didn't take that too kindly. So allegedly Wayne punched him. It wasn't because he was trying to break up anything. Wayne was planning on Ben firing this guy. All it took was this guy getting in his face. That's all it took. And now you want to sue and try to get some sort of clout and attention from media uh, and all that to try to see if you're going to try to squeeze out a dime out of one and young money. We in the era of let's try to get some uh, publicity or uh, media attention from this to see what we can get from it. An assistant. Now, this wasn't this dude any business of his to try to come in between, to try to diffuse any situation between Wayne and this pilot. Dude, sit your sit down. This ain't got nothing to do with you. I didn't pay you to try to diffuse anything that I got going on. This doesn't even concern you. And plus, I've been wanting to get rid of you because you ain't been doing your job because ain't nobody finna just fire an assistant just like that, all willy-nilly. This was mentally already prepared to, for Wayne to even do. He just needed a reason to let this guy go 
because this guy was not doing his job from the beginning. And now this guy looking for a money grab, and he ain't finna get nothing. That's all what it boiled down to, ladies and gentlemen. So there you go. Sensei Reality TV. I thank y'all for watching and tuning in. I appreciate the subscribers. Man, I appreciate y'all, and I thank y'all for everything that y'all do. We're going to continue going up. Y'all take care. Love, live, laugh. Stay military-minded. Keep God first with whoever that you believe in. Love yourself. Practice on that if you don't know how to. One day at a time, we can all get to what we need if we mentally tap in and focus. That's all I got. I'll holler at y'all later. One love. Peace to all.